smell. Wow, look at the color of the smoke when you do that. Really, really dark in that first stage. There's the color of the oil. That's got a really nice consistency to it. Feels a lot like a uh, crude motor oil, which I'll show you some experiments to show you just how like uh, any normal crude you've ever seen this really is by putting it in a cup of water and showing you how it floats. So there we go. Alright, so you can see now just how much oil we've produced. You can see by the splash effect happening in the jug that we're still got a pretty good drip in there. Uh, the ripples inside show us that. Uh, the other container over here, the collection container, is building up. It's got a good color inside of it also. Uh, so yeah, this is the third container and that's still putting off a really nice auburn honey colored oil. It hasn't changed or gotten any really darker. We still have a little bit of a layer of dark mass crude sitting up on top, uh, but not much. Our fourth system here, the stuff that's condensating inside of this fourth collector is very, very clear. In fact, it looks a lot like water, uh, which I'm not sure if that's what it is or not. Uh, the synthetic gas production, as I just showed you, was really, really good out of the system right now. Uh, so it's very clean here. This may be an oil, but it also could just be pure uh, Pure water condensation inside of this system. We'll find out at the end and I'll let you know uh, by trying to burn it and doing some tests So we're gonna go ahead and let this run a little bit longer here And I'll turn the camera back on once again and show you uh, each step as we keep going well, Here we are we're about 15-20 minutes in here at least You can see there we have a really nice synthetic gas flame burning still out of that hose uh, There's been no decrease in the amount of gas produced The only decrease that you see is when the stove loses a little bit of temperature So feed it more wood and you'll watch that gas uh, increase in height quite a bit So I thought I'd just show you that you also see there in the background just how much more uh, oil we've captured inside that third collector It's getting pretty full there uh, for one run of wood so far, that's not so bad. It's a lot more than I thought I'd get in the third collector. You can really see the quality of that flame being produced like that uh, out of the end of that hose. Synthetic gas is very usable. Obviously there is a lot of energy being produced and that's been more than 20 minutes or so of about that steady of a stream. So obviously you could run when you're heating your house, you could easily use this system to run a generator. Uh, it's way more gas than you would need to just power your propane powered refrigeration system. You'd, you could power a couple refrigerators off of that much gas there. Uh, so let me go ahead and turn the camera back off and I'll turn it back on towards the end here of our production run and show you what it looks like. Just wanted to give you a quick shot of what it looks like around that barrel in there. Uh, you can't see it from the other side. This is the exhaust side of that. Uh, I've got blocks up the sides kind of there and just an exhaust out the top but you can see how equal that fire is rolling around that barrel creating nice heat and pressure inside of that. And that's why the system works as well as it does. <laughs> 